Yo everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with a brand new WWE action figure review, and today it is a very special one because we are diving into this year's WWE action figure SDCC exclusive, and it is on the brand new WWE Ultimate Edition Sergeant Slaughter figure, man. Look at what we got going on, man. If you guys did not know, this week is San Diego Comic-Con, of course. We're not in person just yet, man. Next year, we will have an in-person con, but for this year, we're back at home yet again but Mattel Creations has done something very special for us and I want to give a huge shout out to Mattel Action Figure Attack Bill McKenna the whole design team Mattel Creations and everybody over there for sending us this Ultimate Edition San Diego Comic Con Sergeant Slaughter to bring you guys the review so a huge shout out to them man this is absolutely awesome I love Mattel I love our relationship with them here at the channel and this is awesome man as you guys can see 12 days of fandom 288 hours of un unbelievable collectibles I think it started like three days ago and they've just been revealing stuff after stuff after stuff. Go over to Mattel Creations on Instagram, guys, and follow them. They'll keep you up to date on all of their special things. But they sent us this flyer over here. At Mattel Creations is where you can follow them and get in on all the info. They have a new crowdfunding service we also covered yesterday for a new generation arena. And today, guys, we are diving into the San Diego Comic-Con Exclusive Ultimate Edition Sergeant Slaughter. And I don't want to waste any more time, man, so let's go ahead and dive into this packaging. As you guys can see, we do have the full box here. This is, you know, some exclusive type packaging. Usually, it's the typical Ultimate Edition packaging. Right here you have a beautiful image of Sergeant Slaughter. You have the Ultimate Edition logo here. Mattel logo down here. Spinning it to the side, you get a beautiful image of Slaughter there. Classic WWE logo. You got the American flag. Another classic WWE logo. Ultimate Edition over there. At the top of the packaging, it says and that's an order. And at the bottom it does say listen up maggots. Adult collector right there. You got the barcode and all that stuff. And one thing that's very interesting about it this year is there's actually a Chase variant to this figure. And I even made the point to say on Twitter when they announced this figure. You know, if they put it in this packaging and they seal this up with tape, how the hell are you supposed to know if you get the Chase variant or the regular version? Well, they already thought ahead, thank God, and they did not tape it up at all. So you can completely open this flap right here. You can open this up and it will reveal your Ultimate Edition Sergeant Slaughter figure. So you get some cool classic stuff going on right here. You got the old ring ropes. You got some sign crowd signs. You got the crowd right here. I'm sure there's some hidden Easter eggs like some Mattel design team family members and things of that nature in there. I think that would be pretty cool. But if we remove Sergeant Slaughter from the packaging right here, you can just take out this and you reveal even more crowd members in there and such. But we're going to shut this for now. And bringing it back in, guys, you will see you have the Sergeant Slaughter figure here. Image of Slaughter there. WWE logo there. At the top, it says Sergeant Slaughter. Ultimate Edition accessories included inside. If you flip it on the back, here's a close-up shot of the back of the packaging. So accessories over here. Ultimate Edition logo. Nice little printed out deal here if you guys would like to read it. Twist them, turn them, battle them. The Ultimate Collection and then you got a bunch of Ultimate Editions down there at the bottom. Really sweet, man. I love how they have done this. The last few years, man, the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives have been really interesting the way they have done them. The Macho Man and the Mr. T, and this year, I think they did no different, man. Giving us an Ultimate Edition is so cool. I can't wait to crack him out of the packaging, man. Find out what the Sergeant Slaughter is all about. Take you through the accessories and everything, man. So with that being said, let's go ahead and crack Sergeant Slaughter out of his packaging and find out what he's all about. And here is Sergeant Slaughter out of the packaging. Guys, liking what I'm seeing so far. Pretty fun stuff. Again, so excited that we actually get an Ultimate Edition this year instead of just a regular Elite. With the new butterfly joints and, you know, new accessories and all of the packaging, man. This is a really fun SDCC exclusive. You got, if you guys want to get in on this, if you guys would like to pick this up in two days, July 22nd, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Pacific. Specific standard time. Yes, specifically Pacific. 9 a.m. July 22nd. Second, MattelCreations.com. I'll leave the link in the description below to the website. You can grab this thing as soon as it goes up. I remember Mr. T being kind of a hassle. Hopefully this one won't be the same, but I'm sure it will be. It's an exclusive. But if you guys are already liking what you see, definitely stay tuned for that so you guys can grab one. But I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, guys. But what we're going to do is just like our other reviews, we're going to take a look at the accessories of Sergeant Slaughter first, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at the figure itself. So with that being said, guys, let's dive into Sergeant Slaughter's accessories. So diving into Slaughter's accessories, accessories guys starting out first again this is an ultimate edition so the accessories are definitely going to be packed up they're going to give you a lot here so the first thing that we do have guys is going to be his entrance jacket this nice camo material and pattern that we have going on it is cloth which is always beautiful to see it reminds me a ton of the mr t one it may even be the exact same i don't know if it's the exact same but it's definitely very close you know what i'm saying it definitely seems just like it if it's not the same exact one it is definitely similar like i said same camo pattern same camo 
camo pattern I'm pretty sure is the Elite 69 Chompa pants as the Billy Gunn pants that we're going to be getting with our Legends figure later on this year. But it's still nice. I don't care if they reuse the same jacket, man. A new camo jacket is a new camo jacket. Or a cloth jacket is a cloth jacket. It doesn't really matter if it's been reused. It's cloth. It's nice. We love to see it. Now, his next accessory, guys, is going to be his hat. It comes in a brown color. It's a pretty nice sculpt on there. I believe we have seen this from Mattel in the past. This is not the first time we've seen a Sergeant Slaughter hat, but it does have a nice sculpt to it and everything like that. We also have his sunglasses in the silver and black, which look really good. You guys already kind of saw what it looked like on a head sculpt, but if you guys want to see it, what it looks like on the interchangeable head sculpt, well, there you go, and it looks pretty good. I think the likeness to Sergeant Slaughter is definitely there. It looks really nice. We also have his whistle, which again, we have seen multiple times before, so you just get the standard whistle with the black tie, and then we get his riding crop, or whatever you want to call this. I really don't know the exact term, term that it's called, but it has a nice sculpt to it as well. I don't know if we've seen this before. I don't think this came with his Hall of Fame figure. I want to say I bought it at retail, and I don't remember seeing this. This may be a first-time accessory unless it's came with a different Sergeant Slaughter or something like that. It may have came with his first figure, I don't know, or his other Legends figure or whatever that one is, which is the only Sergeant Slaughter I have, and he's a referee on my show. So I actually traded my Hall of Fame Elite uh, Sergeant Slaughter, unfortunately. But you do get this. Like we covered before, you do get an interchangeable head sculpt, and it's kind of weird because he doesn't look like that angry here. He kind of looks like scared or shocked, but with the glasses on, he looks pissed off, so that totally works. And then you also have the grinning slash angry head sculpt, so you have like a yelling slash crazy eyes, and then you have the pissed off looking, and I, they both look good. They both look like Sergeant Slaughter. I like both of them a lot. I think they, they carry a good likeness to him and everything like that, and that's really all you can ask for there. I feel like they are slightly differently sculpted than his other figures, but I'm digging them. And then for interchangeable hands, guys, he does come with solid black gloves out of the packaging, so he comes with solid black fists. He comes with salute hands slash praying hands. He comes with mic holding hands, and he comes with pointer fingers. So that's nice, man. I, I think you get a ton with this, so there's not really much to complain about with the accessories because you get a ton of stuff, which is what the Ultimate Editions are all about, man. You know, you want those cloth goods, you want those interchangeabilities, so I'm happy with it. So getting into the Sergeant Slaughter figure, guys, starting out at the top of the head sculpt, we spent a little bit of time on it, so I'm not going to spend any more time on it, but it looks really, really nice right here. Going down into the torso, you get the nice singlet right here. I want to say this is a new Ultimate Edition torso because, you know, we haven't seen the butterfly joints with the singlet over the top there. USA looks really clean in the red, white, and blue. Got the butterfly joints here. They feel much tighter than the Ric Flair and the Stone Cold Steve Austin. I feel like those were kind of, uh, oh, this one kind of seems to be a little bit stuck here, but they're not near as loose as the Ric Flair and the Stone Cold Steve Austin. He does have some nice sized arms right there, which I like to see. Double jointed arms on the Ultimate Editions. Always a beautiful thing to see. No doubt about it. I I literally just, oh my god, that just, it, just, it makes me so happy. Red wrist tape, black gloves like we saw before. Going down into the crotch, you do get the white belt, which looks really nice. This is a loose piece, so you can, like, I, I, if you wanted to, you could remove this. Like, if you slide it all the way down the legs or something, but it does hug the waist tight, and it's a very nice piece to, you know, it fits on there good. It's not going to be loose or anything. Red, white, and blue stripes going down the side. You get the black pants, as Sergeant Slaughter does. Always love Sergeant Slaughter's boots. I just like the green and the military logos and stuff like that. They always just look great. You get the toe pivot right there, or the toe hinge, if you want to say that. Black laces on the green boots. Just a really nice figure, man. He's not on ball joints, if you guys were wondering. But, man, I just, uh, I don't know. Like, something about these classic figures, man. Makes me just want to start, like, a classic fed. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, bro, what a, what a sick, sick figure, man. I do have a little bit of paint chip on my chesticles right here, which kind of upsets me, but at the end of the day, man, this Sergeant Slaughter figure could beat my ass in my sleep, you know what I'm saying? Not as hard as Ronda Rousey, you know, the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey, but this one's got a fair shot at it. And then for your Sergeant Slaughter figure comparisons, guys, here's the last three SDCC WWE action figure exclusives. You have the Macho Man Slim Jim, you have the Mr. T from last year, and this year you have the Ultimate Edition Sergeant Slaughter. And upon further investigation, these two jackets are not the same. This is kind of like an overthrow and then this one is more of an actual jacket that comes all the way down with the sleeves and stuff so they did change out the sleeves here these are more like loose fitting three-fourth sleeves and these go all the way down and they're kind of tighter and stuff like that so that is just something to mention there but out of these three exclusives guys which one do you like the most i think it's very hard to say i like a lot i like all three of them in their own ways so i don't even know if i could tell you to be honest with you it's it's a very difficult choice but that does it for your sergeant slaughter figure comparisons but anyways guys i think that is going to wrap up this ultimate edition review on the brand new s 
SDCC WWE Ultimate Edition Sergeant Slaughter, man. What a fun figure. What fun packaging. Really enjoyed reviewing it for you guys. I always enjoy the figure reviews, man. I absolutely enjoy it, and I love it, and I appreciate you guys checking it out, coming by, letting me know your thoughts on the figure, and watching the reviews all the way through, man. You guys are the absolute MVPs. I do want to give a huge shout-out to Mattel Creations, Mattel, the whole design team, and everyone over there that made this review possible by sending us this SDCC Ultimate Edition Sergeant Slaughter, so a huge shout-out to them, man. My overall thoughts on this year's exclusive is I like it. I like it a lot. You know, they seem to do these outside-the-box thinkings when it comes to these SDCC exclusives, and this one's no different. I really like it. I think they did a fantastic job on it. I knew about it a little bit before it was shown off, and I was kind of like, eh, but now having it in hand and seeing what they've done with it and everything like that, I like it. I like the outside. I, like, I always like the thought of it, like the outside-the-box thinking. You know, it's kind of, it's not just a regular wrestler and a regular attire. You know, they try to think outside the box and give us things that are just outside the box. I mean, I don't really know how else to describe it, but again, if you guys would like to grab this, man, it's going to be going down in a couple days. July 22nd, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Be on MattelCreations.com. Link will be in the description. You guys can go down there, buy this thing when it goes live so you guys do not miss out on it. I'm going to try and grab one or two myself again because I really, I think I want to keep one of these mocked, so I am going to try and do that, but thank you guys for checking out the review. Let me know what you think of the Sergeant Slaughter down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Sergeant Slaughter's telling you to listen up, maggots, and don't cross the line. You cross